Hey, what's up guys? Frosty here. Just thought I'd do a little video blog for a change. Uh, give you guys a quick update on how things are going with the scoop and uh, cash games this month. It's pretty much the first month where I've really had uh, the motivation uh, all year to get at it and uh, start grinding hard and uh, hopefully earn around 40, 50,000 BPPs by the end of it. Uh, so far things have been going pretty well. I've been uh, logging plenty of hands to the cash tables, uh, usually complemented by a scoop tournament. Uh, usually been playing like a scoop tournament and 24 tables of cash and when I bust out of the scoop tournament I usually shut down the cash tables unless I've unless I bust really early I guess <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know why uh, this month is is really the first time I just really wanted to grind but uh, yeah I just kinda caught the bug and uh, I just haven't been going out as much either I guess uh, just been taking a bit of a break off drinking uh, it's going good for now but we'll see how long it lasts I've been seeing a girl for about a month, so it's been going pretty well, and uh, yeah, just less intended to go out, I guess, and get hammered, but uh, yeah, I've also been putting a lot of time in uh, researching Hold'em Manager, one of the areas of my game which I know is lacking, uh, probably put about 8 to 12 hours in over the last couple days trying to make a good HUD and just understand all the features that uh, him can provide me. Uh, it's such a piece of crap though. It's so hem too. It's it's just like so buggy and there's so little information about how to do everything out there. Like the thing that really had me interested was making a street by street HUD. So for example, you can make you make four HUDs for pre flop, flop, turn, river, and then uh, when you go from pre flop to turn or pre flop to flop, your HUD will switch over automatically to your to your flop HUD. And uh, it, which sound is such a sick, it's so sick in theory because you don't have, you can instead of cluttering your screen with a million stats, you can just have the stats you want pre flop, the stats you want on the flop, turn, river, etc. <laughs> and uh, you don't have to worry about clutter, and you can be very specific and more focused on each street. But I mean, in practice, it just doesn't work very well. Like the first thing is that the way it works is uh, you have to set the dealer uh, to read everything in the chat, and then it recognizes the next street like it'll read flop and switch over your uh, your HUD to the flop HUD but uh, and this is something that it took me a long time to figure out on my own because they don't tell you you can't even do it on a big table because on a large table uh, the chat is a different size font and it, it can't pick up on that and it can't switch your HUD over so after I figured that out I was like okay well whatever at least I can deal with smaller tables it'll be annoying but it'll still be worth it to have the street by street HUD <clears throat> so I did all that. I made a new layout, 24 smaller tables, but still, it seems buggy. Like it seems that whenever I get more than two, three tables open, uh, it just uh, it just won't work. Like once I get over two, three tables, like especially 24, uh, it just doesn't change from the preflop HUD. So if anybody out there knows when knows if I'm just doing something wrong, let me know. But I'm pretty convinced at this point that it's just just a, just a crappy program. But I don't feel like my time was wasted because I did learn a lot. I did learn a lot of cool features that I didn't know before. And uh, I did end up making a better HUD, uh, even though it's not street by street. But uh, yeah, I think it was time well spent. Um, as far as cash games have been going this month, well, I haven't been checking my results, uh, which is probably the best decision I made in my three-year poker career up to this point. It's just fantastic. Uh, usually when I play, I kind of let my results dictate the length of my session. Like, I'll check my results and if I see that I'm down I'll really want to keep playing and try to get back to even I think it's just human nature but uh, usually what ends up happening is I just keep playing uh, when I'm not playing very well and get stuck more money uh, sometimes I pull it back to even but uh, but overall it's just been it's been a lot uh, less stressful just to not think about the results and just try to play well and I feel like I am playing better because of it I'm not sure I mean, I'll have to wait till the end of the month to see the monetary uh, uh, results, but uh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm playing well. My, like, what's my gut instinct on my results right now? It's hard to say. I think that I'm not uh, not really swinging too far either way. Like, if I'm up or down money, I don't think it's by much. I think I ran really crappy in the first few days of the month, but I've been running pretty good as of late. So I, I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty tough to say. And honestly, I'm just not really thinking about it. I'm just also just so more focused on other aspects of my life because of because of not uh, worrying about my results so much i've been working out a lot more and probably in the best shape of my life right now and eating well and just waking up at a decent hour to 
to get some hours in on time and uh yeah it's it's been great i strongly suggest doing it and doing it um i'm not gonna pretend that i came up with this idea um i got it from a couple other players who who i know don't check the results for a while uh i know wizard of oz did it like last month and two months ago and uh wrote a blog about it and uh yeah he seemed to really enjoy it as well so it's probably something i'll do in the future the only reason i would see myself not doing it is if i lose a bunch of money this month and uh and i don't know and have no other explanation for it <laughs> other than the fact that i didn't check my results but yeah i don't know we'll see how that goes um i played a pretty fun hand today uh at a euro table uh it was interesting because uh it, I was involved in one hand, and then two hands later, I was involved in another one. And uh, because I won the first one, I was deeper stacked on the second one, and I won even more money because of it. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys want to hear about it, but uh, I'm telling you anyways. Uh, <laughs> basically, I was 100 big blinds deep, uh, a few fish at the table, a few regs. Uh, under the gun, uh, limped. See, I think he's kind of a reg fish. Uh, regular isolated him to four. I called with ace king suited. It's a spot where I'll raise call uh, some of the time, but I'm more happy to raise call ace king offsuit uh, than ace king suited because I think it has uh, a lot of value in trying to just keep the fish in the pot and flush over flush them or uh, get value out of top pair with a better kicker. Also, if I, I'm not even super happy about raise call and ace king because uh, it's a hundred no limit full ring. Uh, nobody shoves worse than ace king, so I'm basically hoping for the same hand or, or or a flip against jacks or queens if the reg ends up shoving. So I'm I'm happy with my call. Anyways, another regular on the button made it sixteen. So now we're looking at a limp, a raise, my call, and sixteen. And then the big blind who was another fish called under the gun called I think. Yeah, I think he called. And then the reg called. So now it's pretty easy shove in my spot. Um. There's definitely probably some dead money. I don't. Th I think one of the fishes, at least one of the fish, is probably going to fold there. Uh, the only person I really have to be worried about is the is the button who made it 16. But I think he's going to be doing that uh, with a f uh, fairly wide tight range. If that makes sense. Like he's not going to be doing that with uh, with king queen offsuit. I think, but he might be doing that with blockers with uh, bad ace or uh, or. I mean, even if he has 10 jacks, queens, uh, I'm pretty much happy to take that flip with all the dead money in the pot there. So I shoved it. I think it's the right play. Uh, he called, um, the big blind call, or folded, and under the gun limper called, and the other reg folded. So we're looking at like a 340-ish uh, euro pot. Uh, under the gun had queens, I think, and button had aces. So I'm pretty much screwed, uh, except I can still make my flush. Uh, flop comes king three eight I think rainbow so now I'm drawn to another king uh, turn eight river king so huge suck out really happy about it uh, just because I had previously lost or just got, took a bad beat on the other table so I felt like I deserved it but uh, yeah I don't know very lucky and that was big because uh, the very next hand I had ace queen offsuit I opened it and the fish who called in the big blind previous hand uh, three bet me on the button and uh, I didn't I, that was like the second hand I paid attention to the guy so I didn't really know too much about his game I ended up just folding it a little bit on the nitty side but uh, uh, ace king off, ace queen off doesn't play too well at a position if you're just flat there and, it, and we were just kind of too deep to four bet I thought so I just folded uh, not knowing too much about his game and the very next hand I picked up ten 